Hello there, this is Michael Giro here and I present you today Amanita muscaria or Amanita muscaria. Pronunciation doesn't matter. What matters is, is this specimen is so beautiful. It is very, very common in the eastern part of the United States. Now, one thing, I'm not talking about the Amanita muscaria, the red specimen. I'm talking about the yellow one, the variety Gesowi. Yes, that one. This one that you can see here, again, is beautiful. It is uh, spectacular when you see it in the field. It can be very small or they can be very, very big. Like this one here. This is as big as probably 12 to 15 inches. They are very common in the eastern part of the United States and this is our late summer or fall mushroom. So every year I come here to this area to find amanitas. Uh, there's a lot of different other mushrooms also that I can uh, also that I find in there. And uh, but there's every year and it gotta be in fall. Uh, I, of course I stop by during spring, during summer. Uh, there are other kinds of mushrooms. So it's very interesting how these mushrooms, you know, uh, they have this specific timing to grow specifically, you know, um, one type of year. Well, there's other mushrooms that they just go uh, year around growing growth. Like morels, for example. Spring, you know, morels just, they, they start popping up. But you won't find uh, morels in this area on the fall. Um, like Glorophyllum molybdates which is, uh, you know, the, uh, one of the very common mushrooms that you can find anywhere in the grass. Yeah, from spring to fall, you can find them, you know, all year round. Back in Puerto Rico, you can actually find chlorophyllum pretty much uh, all year round. Again, there's no really any real winter in the Caribbean, so good temperature, good humidity, fine mushrooms anywhere. So today is a two for one. While I was um, looking for the Ammonitas, I actually found Rusulus. Now, um, well, right now I just saw this specific uh, mushroom and I'm supposed to be in my class at 5 o'clock, but uh, you know, pretty sure uh, I'm gonna get there. But I'm gonna show you something real quick. And here you can see, I saw it from, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 feet uh, when I was uh, on the road. And uh, look at this, it's, it looks beautiful. The uh, there's another one here, you can see. This one is a little bit old, it's getting on the dry side. Uh, but look, look at this. I'm gonna try to uh, wait a little bit since I'm a little bit late and then I'll later come here and try to take some uh, pictures of, of this specimen. This picture here is one of my favorite. I would call it, there is not mush room. And you can see why. Take a look. Something very interesting is happening in here. As you can see on the top, it's completely washed out. There's no scale or the warts. But in here you can see that because it's growing from the buttons, all these pine needles would wash away all these warts. So that way you can see that it's a sm smooth surface. Now this is very interesting because if you don't know about this, you can say, well, this specimen does not have any warts or scales. So you would not identify this as an Amanita or Amanita. Look at the size of this specimen. It's like that, it looks kind of old, it's just because it's been um, raining a lot these days. But take a look at this, look at the size of it. It's approximately maybe 14 to 16 inches. Look at the size comparing to my hand. Look at the gills, they're completely exposed at this moment. 
but they are wet that's why they look sort of like smooshy and it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do a spore print from this specimen but hey they look beautiful if you follow the red arrow here you can see the growth of this ammonita of course you can see other specimens eventually I will talk about them but look at the growth how neat this look like this is my mushroom garden here the specimen ammonita muscaria variety gets so this variety of Ammonita muscaria is distinguished by his yellow to orange instead of just red basidocarp on the cap, which you can see here. Also, both uh, Ammonita muscaria shares like this numerous wart on the cap, um, a ring on the upper stem, so you can see that they are free gills, and you can see also the veil that becomes the annulus this type and a very distinctive stem base that features several like shaggy zones on that uh, it comes from the universal veil material and the vulva which is the base or like the egg like structures also as I mentioned before they are free gills and this is one of the most important characteristic in order to identify them when you see it in the field and you can see it's very easy to identify them uh, especially because of these features and the, of course, the color, um, other than other type of ammonitas. So if you look in the literature, you can find the variety Gesowi and Formosa to be very, very similar. Now the Gesowi, um, it's more related to the one in the America, and the Formosa is more uh, to the specimen described on the European taxa. Uh, again, there's some discrepancies between uh, who um, classified this as Gesowi versus Formosa, but for most of the uh, part, Gesowi is the uh, one that we have here in America. I collect this specimen in the field and I brought them to uh, my house and I want to show you these stop motion videos. Um, I took a picture of this specific specimen every 10 minutes. Um, it took 55 hours from growing from the buttons to like fully develop to expose um, all the spores. Um, I don't know if you can notice in these pictures, but I, I can I definitely notices that you can see all these uh, spores coming out of those gills from that mushrooms and pretty much you can see like powder like baby powder um, underneath in the pot that I put them in uh, take a look I hope you enjoyed this specimen, Amanara muscaria viardi gesowi, and I would hope that you stay tuned with the channel. Just click like, leave me a comment, send me an email at mycogeo at gmail.com, Instagram, hashtag mycogeo. You can enjoy a bunch of different pictures, and a lot of those pictures that I have on Instagram, the hope is to make a video on each individual specimen.